And over the weekend, Australia had a resounding victory in the first test match against India at the Adelaide Oval. Australia's bowlers ripped through India in the second innings to set up an eight-wicket victory, one that's raised plenty of questions about the Indian team in their homeland. Joining me to discuss this are Norman Kochenek and Aparna Saini, and they're sports reporters based in Australia uh, for Indian outlets, and we're hoping Harini Rana will join us from Mumbai as well. We're just having some technical difficulties. But Norman and Aparna, welcome. Thank you, Catherine, for joining, letting us join your show. Um, it's been a pleasure to be on the show. The fact is that India... Great to see you. you know, great to see you too. So, Aparna's with me. We're delighted to have both of you, and we're hoping Harini might join us as well. Well, look, it's, it, people are here to hear you guys, not me. What, what, where does India go from here? That was a very devastating impact psychologically, I thought, having pretty much, I think Ravi Shastri said they won six sessions, but they blew their brains out in a single session and lost the test match. Can they pick themselves up? Norman. Well, Catherine, as, as far as I'm concerned, the Indian team were abysmal on the third day's play, first of the morning session, some hour and a half. But the first two days, India were particularly good. So it's an element of balance that needs to be taken from this. Aburia Majunda from um, Sports Today talked to me only recently about the fact that this may be more of an, uh, an aberration rather than a fact. India's batting performance generally is very, very sound. But in this particular day, everything yeah. was on song. The Australian wickets were one after the other. It was next to every ball, every single catch was taken. Some five wickets fell. It was very much a shock to the Indian public, but I think there's an element of balance that needs to come into this. Fair enough. And, Aparna, what, what did you make of it? The reaction back home has been... There's been a little bit of sort of clamour. I saw uh, Dilip Vensaka suggesting Rahul Dravid needed to come out as a specialist batting coach, and there's clearly some worry about Mohammad Shami being absent from the attack. What do you think will be the tweaks in the lineup for Boxing Day? Well, Catherine, thank you uh, for having me on your show. Uh, definitely, there has been a there has been a lot of talk uh, back in my country. Uh, definitely, there was some selection mistakes uh, from uh, BCCI taken for this first test match. Um, if you look at it, I mean, Shabnam Gil, uh, Shabnam Gil was dropped uh, for Prithvi Shaw, and he did not perform in both uh, innings at all. So that, those sort of decisions uh, does matter. Uh, rather than just uh, having the best balls and, you know, what do you think, Norman? That's a very good point. I think the, the point about Shubman Gill, of course, should have been in place for Pippi Shaw, but also not just for his batting, but also for his fielding. Yeah, he's got the catch. So, misfielding, everything. It's just all, you know, uh, go towards the results of uh, what it came out to be for the, second, uh, for the first uh, test match. And second innings was horrible. I uh, know, I mean, the score... <laughs> what did you say about the scores? You told me about the scores. <laughs> so it's, it's been a joke in my country. It's like 4 9 uh, 2 0 4 0 8 5 0 1. It's like, is it a four number? No, it's not a four number. It's a score card. I did see that on Indian team. It's quite on, disgusting. But yeah. Saw that on Twitter. Know. Now we're. Ju we're joined by Harini Rana from Mumbai. So I'll bring Harini into the conversation. Harini, welcome. And uh, just uh, lovely to see you. I just was consulting my diary and you and I were at Manika Oval on this day in 2011 after an inconsequential Chairman 11 fixture. My question to you, do you think India went into this match with enough preparation for a day-night test match in Australia? It struck me that they might have been a bit underdone. Well, absolutely, you know, uh, first of all, lovely uh, to see you, Kate, and it's amazing to sort of connect with you all. It's just the times that I'm in Mumbai, otherwise probably we would be sitting in the studios together and discussing the test series that's gone by. Uh, let's not forget, uh, most of the players who are part of this uh, test team are also some of the players who sort of played the Indian Premier League. Uh, in terms of it's a different format, but it's not like the players haven't got enough practice. They've trained enough. They've been on the park 
uh, since the lockdown. They've had enough time to sort of get their mind back into the game, get their physical fitness back on. And we saw some fabulous performances from some of these players uh, in the shorter format. Now, it is a matter, as, as I always believe now, uh, Kate, you know that we've seen some of the worst performances by India. Uh, I've witnessed 4 nil in Australia. I've witnessed a comeback by the Indian team in Australia when the Indian team was in down under last time around for the test series. And I think it's critical that uh, uh, Indian team was aware. And as much as it is a technical game, when it comes to Australia, it's more of how you play the game out mentally. Uh, Virat Kohli mm. showed that in the first innings. But credit where it's due, the Australian bowling lineup has been firing all guns blazing. And yes, it's a, it's a, it's a young batting lineup for India. Some of the players have been there. Uh, but at, right at the top of the order, Prithvi Shaw, now he is a point of concern for India. This is not the first time that he's failed. However, uh, this is... Qu quickly to go around the three of you, I'll start with Harini uh, first and go Norman. And, uh, Norman, is Rahane the, uh, the right person to fill Kohli's shoes? In that Kohli, uh, Greg Chappell wrote, is the most Australian, non-Australian cricketer in global cricket. And does, he's a more lower key guy, Ajinka. I just wonder if he's tough enough mentally to get the best out of this team. Coming from 1-0 down is a big ask. I thought they needed to win first. What do you think? I, I actually agree, Catherine. I think Rahane is going to have a lot of difficulty facing Kohli. Kohli being, of course, an aggressor, very Australian, like, as you say. Rahane is more conservative, more reserved. But I actually think with the inclusion of potentially Rahul in the place of Kohli, they won't lack a, a bit of bite there because Rahul is also a very good player. But Mahani's captaincy will come somewhat into question. But they have the likelihood of Punt coming in as well for Reverend Saha as a keeper. Now, Punt is a talker. He's right out of the, the mould of a Matthew Wade in terms of his talking on the stumps. And he yes. will certainly stir the team up. So I think the inclusion of Rahul and um, Pant, Punt will actually improve their chances even though Coley's not there. I think that'll be crucial. Shabnam Gill, of course, should be included as well. Shami is at this point obviously out with a broken arm and we'll probably see the yep. likes of um, either Saini, which is actually a partner's second name, so it's not your brother, is it? No. Yep. But Saini, saw, Saini, saw Saini or, or perhaps potentially um, Siraj or, or if we can yep. bring in a, a, one of the other bowlers, I think the significance okay. of that player must have step up and join the bowling attack. Terrific. Thank you for that. And Harini, final point in Mumbai. What's your tip for Boxing Day? Have you? We, we were there together uh, again with uh, the little master and Rahul had India in with a chance and then Pattinson sort of ripped through the order uh, in 2011 on Boxing Day. Are you thinking they can turn it round? It's going to take a huge effort considering that, you know, there's no Virat Kohli in that lineup. It's going to be a huge effort from the Indian team. Uh, but the positive is, after the uh, score that they have in the second innings, the only way up from here, the only way is upwards from here. So that's what Ravi Shastri will play a crucial role in telling the boys. And a lot of youngsters need to take responsibility. This is not their first tour to Australia. Some of them have been there before. Uh, Rohit Sharma would have been like an added advantage if India could have had him in the squad. But uh, the bowlers need to stand up. Now, it's a big blow that Shami is not there, but that gives a chance for Ishan to come in because he's been a consistent performer for India as well. So I think it's more of a mental game, and Boxing Day is a huge arena uh, in terms of the, yes. the, just the tradition. The pressure will be on the team, but I'm hoping that India could make it count because that's the only way they need to come back. I mean, there's no other option for the Indian team but to come out, uh, get that confidence back, keep their chin up, and just move forward and forget what happened at Adelaide. Well, all three of you, wonderful to speak this evening. Thank you for the trouble you've gone to. I could talk cricket all night, but we'd lose some of our viewers. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful Christmas, and I'll check in with all of you guys on Boxing Day or thereafter and keep an eye on the series. Thank you so much. Fingers crossed. Go India. Thanks, Kate. Go India. <laughs> Good night. Shabash. Shabash.